Awesome. Winning. Let's go. Yes, this looks great. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to get smart. That's right. We have the smart technology. All right, because it's what it says smart technology, right? Power stage, battery and charger bundle. Hello. This is the three cell battery and charger bundle. It's a uh, what, SPM XC1070. It's their most basic charge model. And then I got a three cell. 5,000 milliamp 50C LiPo battery. So basically what it means is that you got three cells, that's how many total cells are in the battery. You have the run time, which is the milliamp, that's 5,000, that's really good. And then 50C, that is the discharge rate. That's how fast the juice leaves the battery, which is good. 50 is good, anything over 30 is what you want. So anything over a 30C is pretty fast. We went with the battery charger and stuff. So let's take a look at it real quick. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. Oh, hell yeah. Woo! Oh my God, look, have you ever, oh my God, look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, you're so beautiful. Check it out, look, that's the battery charger. Look, it has a little fan in the top. Or is that the bottom? I don't know, no, that's the top. Yeah, it has a little fan in it. Check that out, that is so cool. And it has like that same orange logo thing as they do up top. See, it's like that orange logo thing and they got that on there too. That's cool. The way that this works, it's just plug and play. Even with their more advanced chargers, it's still plug and play. Now the reason why it's called smart technology is because you don't have to configure anything all you have to do is plug it in that's it the charger already knows whether if this is a 5000 three cell or a 5000 four cell or maybe you have a two cell battery okay so this does not fit into that see that there's just it's just there's just no way it's it's way this is way too big for that and then this uh it doesn't exactly fit in there right so i'm like well what the heck's going on guess what there's an adapter that's supposed to come with this an adapter plugs into this and that and then that's what you hook these two things up to well i don't see the adapter it didn't come with this so this does me no good now yeah there's nothing in it no adapter awesome great just what we needed all right i just wanted to make sure i wasn't crazy so i went online look this is it this is what i bought it was a hundred bucks for that see that there's the adapter i don't my, i don't have one so they screwed me they didn't give me what i needed crap man i need that adapter all right, so what I've started to do is install the headlights and it comes with this little adapter thing with the screw on the back and the best way to do it is you use a body reamer and what I've done is I've tried to keep this white line here centered so I'm going to put the next one right there and I'm trying to use that line as a guide so that way I can keep them somewhat straight. Unfortunately, there's no like flat sides to this truck. I mean, all of the angles are all sideways and stuff and these only mount flush. So with something like this, it would be pointed like over here and it wouldn't look like a headlight. So the only way that I could do anything was put it on the front. So that's what we're currently doing. What I did, these are the wires these are the headlights to try to get the coral out of them you hang them up and they've been hanging for maybe a week now so they're starting to to get that that bin out of them because you don't want that you want them to be nice and straight as possible and you don't want these to be fighting you because they're bending so you definitely want to let these hang out for a little bit so just let them hang out for about a few days 
get that bend out of them and they will be a lot easier to tend to. We have started the wiring process. Um, we went ahead and got two of them fed it and then we gotta feed the other two. Now my only concern, so wait a minute, let me rephrase that. So what I think what I'll do is I'll get them hooked up, wire them in, make sure that they work. We also have, hold on, let me reach up here. We also have a power switch. This is a power relay switch. Um, we also have that that we need to install as well. And then once everything is nice and secure in there, we're probably going to super glue them in. And then we'll probably use some of this stuff, uh, this flex seal to seal in these as well to keep them from coming out on us. The lights came on. Oh man, this is gonna look great. Here, I'm just gonna kind of set it on the truck how it should look. Oh yeah. All right, hold on, hold. Headlight. Oh yes, this is so cool. Oh my God, it looks awesome. Winning, let's go. Yes, this looks great. Oh, look. Headlights, oh shit, subscribe, yes. Damn, I just, oh man, that blue glow, dude, it just, oh, it adds, it just adds to it, man. It just makes it look even sexier. Woo, yo, yeah. Oh my God, are you beautiful? You are so beautiful. Oh yes, you are. Jesus, all right, cool. So we have headlights now. <laughs> so we're going to try to reinforce the body and we're going to do that with this mesh tape and then you can use shoe goo, but I'm going to use this flex seal. I'm thinking that this might be a little stronger than that. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to take the tape and we're going to line the inside of the body with it. And then we take the shoe goo or the flex seal and we put it over the top of it. And what we're hoping is we're hoping to make a stronger and flexible platform. So that way when you kiss a curb doing 40 miles an hour, it doesn't split the body. Hopefully the body will just absorb it and then retake its shape which is what you're hoping for. Show you a difference. See the top here? See that? Real soft and soggy. Now look at the bottom here where I've done it. You can literally the difference. That sounds real soft and flimsy. Oh yeah. So, once we get three, I'd say at least 80% of the body. That way, it'll be a way stronger support. It will be a little heavier, but that's okay. You won't even notice the difference. And then we went ahead and got our, wow, that super glue looks like shit, man. This stuff came out real bad, but that's okay. It's in there. It's not going nowhere. Those are nice and secure. A little bit further ahead, so basically you just keep layering it and then in between you would put the flex seal or your shoe goo or whatever it is and you have to kind of play with it and then as you can see here i'm using some small little clips to help bend around these turns once it fully hardens and dries then you can go through and cut your holes out for your body mounts and then trim any access you have that's showing around the body. Also, the LED strips run underneath. We'll have to carve out a little path for them as well. And it should be good to go. I would let it cure for at least a day or two until it becomes rock hard. This side over here, you can hear it. It's already starting to harden versus this side's kind of soft, but we're good to go. Just rinse and repeat, and that's all you need.